Yes, I am filming yet another video in my car. Sometimes people ask me why I film in my car. The long and short of it is that in a car, first of all, you get really great sound. And second of all, you usually get really good lighting. Like I don't have to like prop up a bunch of lights and move everything around. I can just kind of sit here and hit play. The other nice thing is that it gives me a reason to get out of the house. Hi, this is Andrea Shulman again. And in today's Law of Attraction video, we're gonna talk about something that's often passed over in the spirituality, metaphysics, and consciousness community, which is that the dreams that you have, the dreams that you want to manifest, you are given those, you are chosen for those. I think a lot of people out there feel that the things that they want, it's selfish for them to want them, or who am I to want this thing? Who am I to want to manifest this money, or this business, or this relationship, or this endeavor, or whatever it is? But in truth, there's a reason why you have the desire that you have, and I think it's really important to understand that and acknowledge that so you can really get into a alignment with manifesting, not just something that you want, but something you're supposed to have. Now, if you're excited to watch today's video, please give it a thumbs up right now, and let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Here comes security. Security keeps driving by. This guy's like, what is this chick doing in this parking lot? Hi, have a blessed day. <laughs> So yes, you are chosen to manifest your desire. There is a reason why you want it. And the first thing to understand about this is that you received the idea for manifestation. You did not generate it on your own, rather you received it. Anything that it is that you truly want is something that really came to you through one of those aha moments. You were inspired by the universe to have that desire. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave a personal manifestation story into this video so you can see how these elements tie in together. So for me, something that I've manifested is really superior physical fitness. I used to be a drug addict, I used to be bulimic, I used to drink a lot, I used to chain smoke. Today, I'm in really good shape. I can do pull-ups, I can do push-ups, I can run fast, I have flexibility, I have good balance. There's all of these things that I can do with my body that didn't used to be able to do so well. And so my physical fitness is something that I've truly manifested and I am in very, very good shape. Now, my journey to becoming physically fit, it started with receiving an idea. It wasn't something that I was trying to figure out. It wasn't something that I was trying to make happen. Rather, there was a moment in time where I received the idea that, you know what? I want to manifest superior physical fitness. For me, that moment happened pretty much immediately after I got out of treatment for my opiate addiction. So I had gone to a clinic in Mexico for Ibogaine therapy and had gone through the therapy, it had gone well. And so I went across the border back into the United States and I was gonna take a plane from San Diego back to where I live here in Florida. And when I got to the airport, I got in line to check my bags and I was really tired. It had been a very tiring and taxing journey for me to get through treatment and to get across the border and to get to the airport. And I was feeling very drained, very sluggish, and very tired. And while I was waiting to check my bags, there was a young couple in front of me. And they had a baby that looked to be about, perhaps about 10 months old. And the mom who was holding the baby was in superior physical fitness. Like she, she was wearing shorts. She wasn't dressed provocatively or anything like that, but she was in shorts and a tank top. And you could tell like she had quad definition. She was strong. Her skin was very radiant. She looked very glowing. And I was just looking at her in my physical condition in that moment thinking, wow, that's amazing that she had a baby. It looks like probably 10 months ago and she's in such 
quality physical fitness. She looks radiant. She looks alive. And in that moment, a little light went off that, you know, I want to have that for myself. I want to be in that kind of physical shape. And so that's how I received the idea to manifest my physical fitness. And you will find that for yourself, when you have desires, it comes in that kind of form. You see something, you hear something, you have a moment where the light bulb goes off. And that's something to understand is that you were gifted with the desire to manifest your dream. Hey, if you're enjoying today's video, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I put out new Law of Attraction inspired videos like this one every single week, and I'd really love it if you came along for the ride. The next thing that really indicates that you were chosen for your desire is that in order for you to get that desire, you have to get into alignment with that desire. In other words, in order to get from where you are to where you want to be, you have to become a new person. And that really requires you to shed old limitations, old beliefs, and old behaviors that are not serving you, that are not healthy for you, that are not productive for you. See, every desire that you have really requires you to be more than you currently are. So the universe really wants you to manifest your desire because it's gonna require you to grow and to become more in alignment with your authentic, true self. See, for me, I was gifted with the desire for physical fitness, but just because I had the desire for physical fitness doesn't mean that I was able to become that without any changes to who I was. Um, in fact, I had to make quite a few changes. You know, the biggest change was getting sober. And so it was a really great thing that I manifested that desire for physical fitness when I did because I really feel that getting into a place of wanting to become fit really helped me stay on the straight and narrow with my sobriety. It really gave me a reason not to turn back, but it also gave me a reason to become even more, to let go of habits that were no longer serving me. So my physical fitness gave me a reason to get up in the morning, to go do something productive, rather than, you know, kind of lay in bed or scroll through Facebook or have some of these other non-productive habits that I had had in the past. Reaching for that level of physical fitness really required me to think differently about health and to not, to not just get focused on losing weight or gaining muscle, but really to create a balance. To be in really superior fitness requires you to find a really strong balance where you're taking very good care of your body. And you're gonna find this, that with the dreams that you have, whether it's with a career or relationship, with your physical health, with money, but the dream is causing you to become somebody who is in a greater state of alignment with their true authentic self somebody who is really healthy, takes good care of themselves, thinks highly of themselves, has positive expectations. And so the universe will give you these aha moments as a means of helping you grow into the person you really want to be. As a quick note, if you've been waiting to enroll in my Extreme Abundance course, it is live again today for a 10-day enrollment period. I only offer this course for enrollment two times a year. And so if now is a good time for you to ramp up your money manifesting skills, go ahead and make sure to check out that course below. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for you to check it out. Now, something else important to understand about why you were chosen to manifest your dream is that there's a reason for you to have it that's not just for you. Having your dream, manifesting your dream, benefits other people. There is a reason why the universe has given you a desire and wants you to manifest it. In, in large part, it's for helping you grow. It is also, however, helping other people. So if we tie this back into my own story with manifesting physical fitness, Something really interesting has happened that I've noticed over the last couple of years, which is that as I have materialized the physical fitness that I, I wanted to have, 
I've noticed that people will come up to me and say things like, wow, you're an inspiration to me in the gym. I'm really trying to learn how to do pull-ups because of you. Or you've inspired me to start running more. Or you've inspired me to stretch more. And I keep getting these kind of feedback from people in my reality. People have a tendency to follow me to the gym. So people that I know, um, whether they're friends or just random people that kind of know me may show up at the gym that I'm at. And the funny thing about that is, if you notice that the journey kind of came full circle, there was a woman who was placed in front of me at a very vulnerable time in my life when I wasn't in good physical condition, when I wasn't in a good place. And she served as an inspiration to help me grow into that more healthy version of person. And the universe wanted me to become that, not just for myself, but so that I could provide that same kind of assistance to others, to get in front of people who could use a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of a nudge to become more of their highest self. That's what the universe does with the greater picture, is it, it's gonna call you into becoming your higher self, and then you become kind of this beacon of light for others to show them that, you know what, you too could work on your own. To show them that, you know what, you too could make something of yourself. You too can have a loving relationship. You too can have a really awesome job. You too can be a really wonderful, healthy, awesome person. It's important to understand that you were chosen for this dream. This dream chose you and really it's your duty. It's your responsibility to manifest it. This isn't some whimsical, hey, I'm being selfish, hey, I'm being whatever kind of thing. The desires that are really in your heart like that were things that were gifted to you, that it's your responsibility to manifest them. Again, if money manifesting is something that has been tugging at you, remember again that my Extreme Abundance course is open today for limited enrollment for 10 days only. Again, I only open it up two times a year. So when it shuts, it will not be open again for about six months. And so if you've been wanting to focus on abundance attraction, improving your ability to manifest money, manifest pr prosperity easily, more and more as time goes on, then definitely you'll wanna check out the link below in the description. There's a, there's a video there, there's an explanation of the course, it shows you what all is included. And to go ahead and check that course out now, go ahead and look below in the description for a link. Thanks again for watching today's video and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.